after revealing the final Jude Bellingham price, a source close to Manchester United has come out and really let us know how much, how much Borussia Dortmund is willing to go ahead and really sell a man who goes by the names of Judy Bellingham and how United are in for this guy who goes by Judy Bellingham, 19 years of age, he's playing football at a higher level, one of the best talents in the world right now as far as the central midfield is concerned, that is Jude Bellingham playing for the English national team and obviously playing for the team in the Bundesliga known as Borussia Dortmund. Then we have a story of Diego Delo in the foyer and an update from the game they're really going to play against the side which goes by the names of Spain where Diego Delo has been benched this time around. However much he called the breast. I'm going to come out and be late, you know about that and very many other United superstars that have been benched and others that have been started into the game of football that is really closing down the international break today. Other superstars have returned at Manchester United. The likes of Rafael Verani, Malasia and maybe in the next video I'll come out and really show you how they trained with the team which goes by the name of Manchester United and how are you guys and how has your going been Rock and David is my name smash the like button comment and share and if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily and let's get straight into this now you know Laurie Whitwell he's a United correspondent for the Athletic he has come out and told us today that Manchester United are expected to try again to sign Judy Bellingham next summer Liverpool are seen as current front runners so Judy Bellingham if at all you've been following us in 2019, Judy Bellingham was supposed to come to Manchester United. He met Alex Ferguson and we are all convinced that this guy was coming to Manchester United. If at all you remember that very, very well. But things somersaulted and obviously he went to Borussia Dortmund. Obviously the project at United was not convincing enough because when you look at how things were, it looked like they were not really at the level of really improving this player and obviously it's now that most of you knew the reason as to why he really left because the improvement he has gotten at Borussia Dortmund is nowhere near the one would have gotten at Manchester United that is known all over the world and he's really one of those midfielders that are really selling like hot cakes Liverpool in for him Madrid in for him and very many other teams in for him and that is a man who goes by the names of Judy Bellingham and now Lord Whitwell has gone ahead and really stamped this remember no United source or no United correspondent had come out and really let us know about this story the other stories of United signing Jude Bellingham are coming in from Germany they are coming in from uh, sports witness and very many others but for the very first time we've gotten a correspondent of United for the Athletic coming out and really letting us know that United wants to sign Judy Bellingham once again and guess what this guy is being fed in by the club he's being he's being told by the club that you want to sign such and such a player so don't be surprised if at all United really goes down and really hunts in for this guy and Laurie Whitwell, correspondent of United, stamping this deal that United is in for this guy, Judy Bellingham. Look at Judy Bellingham. I believe he's one of the young, exciting talents. And I believe Elkton Hag will go in and say, all right, for him, he's English. He's a different breed of English player. I can really house him into Manchester United because Elkton Hag came out and said the quality of English players is really low and they are very much expensive. But if at all he went in for 100 million euros for a man who goes by the names of Anthony, why not go in for 100 million euros for a man who goes by the names of Judy Bellingham? But remember, we are told by the board, Richard Arnold and Richard Motaf, that we shouldn't expect another spending spree like we had this summer. So it's really it really leaves us in a lot of questions in here onto the channel which goes by the names of United Matters Channel on what United are really going to go ahead and really do in this in the next summer. Yet we had a story again that 70 million pounds have been availed for Eric Ten Hag in January. So I don't know how things are really going to be moving on, but obviously with the pressure of Sir Jim Ratcliffe, you expect lots of things to happen in this game of football as far as a team which goes by the names of Manchester United is concerned and the transfers. Now we have another story coming in from the Sun. The Sun is letting us know that Judy Bellingham could leave Borussia Dortmund for 83 million, 83 million pounds next summer, 50 million pounds less than Dortmund reportedly want. If the entire fee is paid up front, that's it. So, a story came in like below, a story came in um, like a week back 
that for any team that wants to sign Judy Bellingham, they are supposed to pay 130 million pounds. You get? So, that asking price was really so much, and I believe this is the story or a source that has really enabled United to let Rolly Ritwell put it out that, all right, if he's at 83 million pounds, we are going to go in and sign him. And I know United has the money, and with the pressure coming in, with consortiums coming in here to try to buy this club, uh, rich people from Saudi Arabia trying to buy this club of Manchester United, it shows you that the Glazers have nothing to do apart from either investing in the club, if they want to stay here, or sell it. Because they are viable buyers who want to invest close to 10 billion shillings, 10 billion pounds into this team that will see United get back to where they're supposed to be. So this story, 83 million pounds has really enabled the board to really feed into their correspondent of the athletic that go tell the fans of Manchester United that we can go ahead and really buy this player if at all he's at 83 million pounds. But it's not only United that is in for this guy. Real Madrid see him as a replacement for Luka Modric. Obviously, they already have 70 million pounds from the purchase. From, sorry, from the selling of Casemiro to Manchester United. And that means they are just 20 million pounds less to really, go ahead, to really go ahead and really sign this player. So it shows you that it's really going to be a very, a very huge battle on who is really going to sign Judy Bellingham. But United, to put themselves into a better position to sign Judy Bellingham, one, they have to qualify for the Champions League. That's it. I think if the United are in the Champions League, I think they can outbid any team. They can outbid any team. You get they can offer a huge salary than any of those teams because Real Madrid cannot go in and say we are offering Judy Bellingham 300,000 300, pounds a week. You get Liverpool can't. So if United is the Champions League, they can go ahead and really tell Bellingham we are giving you 300,000 pounds a week. Remember next season you never know whether United is going to go ahead and trigger that one year close of Ronaldo that will see him stay at the club because he earns 550,000 pounds a week. That is Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, if he comes in, if he really works out, that would have given United to save close to 250,000 pounds a week by really giving Judy Bellingham 300,000 pounds a week. And even giving him 250,000 pounds a week, I don't believe Liverpool can do it. You get so I'm waiting to see what is going to happen. But those are the factors that are really going to be so much determinant on whether Judy Bellingham joins United or not. The most determinant factor is the Champions League. Is United to the Champions League? Because obviously the coach is really attractive. Every player that is young can go in and really tell that please. We can go in and really do the needful in here onto Manchester United. And secondly, there are factors of Sancho and Rashford. Harry Maguire looks sure. If they happen to go to the World Cup when United is really performing very well, they'll go ahead and really seduce him and tell him, please, come to Manchester United. Look at Liverpool. It's on its downfall. But for us, we are onto the rise. That's it. So it looks like there are very many factors. But let's wait and see what everything is going to go on and look like into this game of football because things of transfers keep changing. They keep changing. Tabel Malasia was not supposed to be coming in at Manchester United, but obviously he came in through, you know that very well. So I believe it's really going to be another tug of war. But I know if we are in the Champions League, we can go ahead and really win this battle for Jude Bellingham. But 83 million pounds is what they are really calling for him. And I really believe they will, ha they will have made a lot of money because I don't believe they even paid, I think they paid 16 million pounds for him from um, from Birmingham City. So, 16 million pounds, I know Birmingham will take like another 10. So, if at all they can get a profit of 15 million pounds from Judy Bellingham, what a deal and what an absolute bargain for a side which goes by the names of Borussia Dortmund as a footballing club. They sold Sancho the other season at eight at 73 million pounds. They made a profit of close to 50 million pounds. They sold Aaron Haaland at, um, is it 65 million pounds? They bought him at uh, 18. They made a profit almost of, of 50 of him. If at all they make a profit of 50 million pounds of a player who goes by the names of Judy Bellingham again, what a way to really go ahead and really establish themselves into this footballing era.
of really making money. So it looks like Borussia Dortmund is really great and doing great business. And obviously, let's wait and see where this is going to roll. Now today, Portugal is playing a side which goes by the names of Spain. The game is starting right now, but Cancelo has come in to start into that right back position for Spain as they are playing a side which goes by the names of sorry for a side which goes by the name Cancelo has started for for Portugal as they're going to play a side which goes by the names of Spain now. As things stand, Diego Delo scored a brace into Diego Delo scored a brace into the game they played against a side which goes by the names of Portugal. And obviously, sorry, not Portugal. They played, they beat Czech Republic by four goals to nil, and he scored a brace. Having scored a brace, obviously, a man who goes by the names of Diego Delo has not gotten his start again. But We've been told the following by Fabrizio Romano that there is an option to extend Diego Delo's contract for one more season. There is a good relationship between Diego Delo's camp and Manchester United, but it will take it will take some time to offer a new deal due to the World Cup. So we are here to see what everything is going to be about Diego Delo, and obviously we expect lots of things to happen to Diego Delo because he has come out, established himself as a starter at the Manchester United side, and obviously he has also gone ahead to extend his special abilities to the Portuguese national team by scoring a brace. Remember, those were his first goals he scored for the Portuguese national team, and he really looked great. So putting up a bat against Cancelo, into that position is really so much huge but let's wait and see what the rest of the season is going to offer for a man who goes by the names of Diego Dalot but Diego Delo special case for me at United improving a lot under Eric Ten Hag and I know this is really something great we should go on and really uphold as United fans remember we are playing a team which goes by the names of Man City over the weekend this is something great for him to be rested because I know Cancelo is going to play 90 minutes so that means he's really going to return to Manchester fully fit and tomorrow he'll do a recovery training in the evening with Manchester United and remember we should keep our hands crossed for other teammates at other teammates of ours one there is um Casemiro, Freddy have started for Brazil today. Anton Santos on the bench. Let's pray for them such that they play that game of football and they don't get an injury. Then the other player who has started for Manchester United today, I think Lisandro Martin is going to start for Argentina again. And obviously, I think those are the only remaining players that are really playing for side which goes by the names of Manchester United. So we should keep our hands crossed and see these players return fully foot, especially Zandro Martinez, because Rafael Verani has already returned at Carrington and he has taken part into today's training session with the likes of Malaysia and who else? I've seen returnees from the international duty and they are really back and training. It shows you how much there is a lot of vibe and how much players are ready to go in and play into the game of Man City. That derby is really important for side which goes by the names of Manchester United and I know lots of things are really going to be going to happen the way we want them. So Diego Delo extending his contract. To me, I believe it's better to even not extend it but negotiate a new deal. Let's negotiate a new deal with him and obviously give, make him pay another deal of four years with one option a year. You get increase a lot of money. We increase the money like to a hundred thousand pounds a week because I know he's earning like 200, like he's earning like 20,000 pounds a week. Let's keep this guy because he is really great. And I know most of you who are really watching this video on this channel also in so much seconding this guy to be given another contract at much as I did not so. So let's wait and see what Diego Delo is really going to be at. As far as his contract situation is concerned at Manchester United, I believe he's really going to go out there and really accept it because he said that the drive in this team is clear. They are the players that want to see United get back to where they are, to where they were back in the years, like a decade back when Alex Ferguson was here. So... That is the big drive, and when the player comes out and really puts out a statement, it's enough to communicate to you that this player wants to stay at the club of Manchester United. And thank you guys for watching in. Smash the like button, comment, and share. 
if at all you're watching us for the very first time lower right bottom corner smash the red button that will subscribe and after subscribing hit the notification bell that anybody get notified each and every time i put a video onto this channel and david is my name i sign out for now see you later and i hand you over to the almighty lord let him bless you abundantly because every time you pray through his name he really gets you the best that you guys deserve thank you rokan david is my name united matters channel it is first video of the day portugal zero spain zero only and only four minutes played this game of football let's wait and see where this game is going to end i'll be here to bring you the match preview in the for you will bruno and ronaldo destroy portugal let's wait and see